Go! Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be talking about the stroller that we use for Alessandra. It's a Bugaboo brand and it's their Chameleon 3 style. So I think that this stroller is probably the best one that you can just go out to any store and buy for a special needs child. It's a very high quality stroller, um, probably what would be considered a luxury stroller. And it is very, very nice, but it's also very durable. It's very good quality. So it's going to last a really long time. So if you can't find one in your area or if you don't have the money to buy a new one, then look for a used one um, on eBay or Craigslist or somewhere like that because I think you're still gonna get a really good quality product. I'm gonna go ahead and start telling you the different features of this stroller and why I think it is a good choice for a special needs child. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the seat. Um, it's actually a very large seat, which was one thing I was concerned about. She's actually getting pretty big. She's not big for her age, but she's She's pretty big for a baby that's in the stroller most of the time. Um, so as you can see, her feet don't quite come down to the edge. And I think she's about um, maybe like 33 inches long. I'm not for quite for sure exactly on that. And she's, like I said, probably almost 30 pounds. So the weight limit is uh, not an issue, but with a lot of the strollers, the length starts to be an issue also with her head. You know, it's it's pretty close to the top, but she still has plenty of room right now, and she still has plenty of room in her feet. And um, it's supportive. So the, the sides coming up like this is really good for her. She can't fall to one side or, or another. I think she thinks it's very comfortable. I think she's very comfortable in this stroller. This whole um, frame surrounding it does not move. A lot of strollers, um, you can make the footrest go up and down. This one you can't, but um, for us, that's not ever been an issue. So also, if your child can sit up straight, this seat does sit up completely upright. You adjust the recline by pressing these two round buttons on either side. One thing about that I like about Bugaboo is that uh, it is very user friendly. So these um, circles here, you just press them in and then you just apply the pressure whichever way you wanna go and that leans it to this reclined position. And if she falls asleep, you can go one more level which is pretty much fully, the, the frame is level but um, her head is still gonna be higher then her bottom and her feet are still gonna be up here. So that, that seems to work out really well for us. She seems very comfortable when she's asleep and sleeps really well in here. Um, this is a bumper bar that you can, again, a white piece, you press in on the white piece and that swings out. You can also, it's the same way on this side and you can take it completely off. But we really like to use it as like kind of a carrying handle for the seat itself and um, we even can carry her with this. It's very strong. I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not, but um, since we are using this for our special needs child, we have done that. I'll go ahead and show you some more features of the stroller just by itself that would be useful for any child. It's extremely maneuverable. It's just, it's so easy to push no matter where you are or what you're doing. Um, I know we've showed in other videos about going through the snow. We've had this on the beach, going through the sand. You can take the seat off and so you do that by pressing these two side buttons that releases it and you can pull this off just like that. Carry it with one hand, pretty easy. But this part here actually becomes like a stand for a seat itself and that's extremely sturdy. No one's gonna knock that over. Um, and it's in the semi-reclined position when it's like that. So that works for us really well. Um, and you just, that could go back like that for storage. And so this actually works as uh, something that we can like take into people's houses 
and just sit her on the floor or we can just take her out of the stroller and sit her on the floor if we need to adjust something or um, just any reason why we would just want to kind of have somewhere for her to sit. This seat has really come in handy. It's a lot like if you have an infant car seat and then you just click that into the stroller. It's a lot like that except that it can't go, it can't be used as a car seat, but um, it can be used as kind of like a carrier. Okay, another thing is the handlebar can be raised by taking these two white pieces, lifting them up, and then extending it like this. I don't know if you can see that very well. Then you just click them back into place. But for me, being really tall, um, this works really well. Um, so that's a big, there, you can have a really big difference between having it up here and then having it all the way down. Like if you go into a restaurant and you just want to get the handlebars out of the way, it goes down pretty far. So the tires in the back, the tires are really large and that um, makes it more of an all-terrain stroller. But in the front they're smaller so it's just a very comfortable ride okay another thing about the handlebar which is really unique is by pushing in these two white buttons on either side of the inside of the handlebar you can actually switch the handlebar to the other side so that also makes it really maneuverable because now you have your all-terrain wheels in the front and so you can go over a much more bumpy uh, rough terrain like you saw in the snow video all he did was switch the handlebar from one side to the next and then that puts the big wheels in front and also if you just um, find yourself in a very small uh, like a narrow aisle or something like that and you just need to put have the handlebar get on the other side of the stroller that can be really handy too you can just switch the handlebar to the other side now I'm going to show you how to fold it. What you want to do is take the seat off. It has to fold in two pieces. You cannot fold it as one piece. And that is actually has been a good thing for us. We have a minivan and um, you can actually put the two piece, put the pieces in two different places in your van if you need to or side by side or kind of tuck them. And then this part, you want to press these two buttons in again, slight, you press them all the way in, but then you kind of go up slightly and then back down. And then all you have to do is take hold of this bar and pull up. And that's how it folds. And another thing is, it's not heavy. This piece uh, and that piece being separate makes it where it's not too heavy. So, like, I'm perfectly fine with it. And it's a lot, a lot lighter than our twin stroller that I have had to put in and out a lot. And so for me, this is like wonderful. And then you can just kind of put that on top like that. So I'd say it's not a super compact fold. It's not gonna be as easy and compact as some strollers, but I definitely think it's worth it and it's definitely doable. While I have it like this, I'm gonna show you something else that you can do. And this is how we went in the sand on the beach. You press them, press these two buttons in again, up slightly, and then you just push that in. So see, it's more like a dolly. Okay, so then you would just take these two smaller front wheels off by pressing these white buttons, and then they can easily store in your storage container here. And then you have a two-wheeled, you can either push it, I find it easier to pull behind, um, kind of like a wagon or you just press these two buttons in again, bring it back forward then back down. So it's pretty easy once you know what you're doing. Another thing is the brake. Um, it, it's a hand brake right here. You just push that forward and it locks in place. And then you'll um, actually just press a button here. Let me turn around so you can see. So that's the brake, then you press this button, pull back and, 
and release it and then you're good to go. So you can do um, the big wheels in front, big wheels in back. You can also change the seat position itself. You can have her facing you or facing out either way. So I really like that as well. I like to be able to see her and as I'm pushing her through the store or any, to have a better idea, you know, how she's doing, if she's, if she wants her pass here, if she's having a seizure or something like that, I really like to be able to look at her. So I really like that. Move it back this way. There. So another thing we really liked about this stroller was the accessories that were available. Um, I already talked about how the seat can kind of be its own accessory as a separate seat, but there's also a stand that we bought. So this is very sturdy and it's about the same height as a normal chair would be. So if you wanted to go in to a restaurant or something and bring your stand in your seat and kind of create your own high chair, it sits pretty tall. It does sit about as tall as our high chair. Um, so you could sit her up to the table or um, that is actually very convenient if you um, are going to someone's house and she doesn't have her own special place at their house but you can bring along your really comfy seat and another thing is it's really sturdy. I was a little bit concerned about how sturdy it would be um, but it's actually really really sturdy you're not no you know kids running by are not going to knock this over this is completely collapsible as well the sand is it's pretty small and pretty light and compact as well the storage bag here it's actually not it's not my favorite storage bag of any stroller i've seen it's pretty small and um, I don't use it a whole lot unless it's something pretty small to put in there. A lot of times I'll put in just like the wheels, the front wheels or something like that that has to do with the stroller, not my huge diaper bag because it just honestly won't fit. Another thing that we really like from Bugaboo is their, um, their, their stand. It basically turns it into a sit and stand stroller. It's an extra seat for a toddler. So you see it's just kind of like a, a board that they can stand on. So uh, you just buy, you have to buy adapter pieces for it and they can stand here. It's really sturdy and hold on here or if the child is facing you. Our two-year-old daughter likes to be able to hold on to this or if she's standing, even sometimes hold on to this and then she can talk to Alessandra and interact some. A toddler can ride just standing or you can add the seat. And so this is the another thing about the storage bag is you can just throw things like that in there. That's what I use that for. So other accessories that come from Bugaboo that we've really enjoyed lately, especially since it's been cold, is the seat cover and foot muff. Here's the canopy liner. As you can see, it covers quite a bit. And with the foot muff, she's definitely well protected from any winter weather. The seat liner just makes everything really nice and comfortable. The straps come out, but it's still kind of closed off with Velcro right here. And um, I actually really like the straps too. It's got a five point harness here with the um, shoulder pads. Down here at the bottom, it is kind of a canvas material in case the child has dirty shoes or something. Okay, so then it has these zip on, it's a lot like a sleeping bag. So these zip on or off and you can come all the way up. This is the really, really warm one for if it's super cold outside and it's down filled. So it's very, very warm. So you can have it as just the seat liner by itself 
or you can have this foot muff cover which is a lighter thinner um more like a jacket the outside is like waterproof and the inside is fleece so it's very comfortable and will definitely keep out the weather and then the one that we have on it right now is the really big thick downy one that's like a big winter coat this is not a stroller that is specifically made for special needs children this is just a stroller that i found through researching and trying alessandra out in a lot of different strollers and looking at a lot of other reviews um, that i really just thought this would be the best one and it has worked out great so if you haven't if you have a special needs child and you're just not ready to try and get them a stroller specifically made for special needs children then i would i would check this out and you know just take go to the uh the baby store and try them out and see if you think you'll like it so thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for the next video